Hi, everybody. I am Kevin Ioli from the Autumn Sports. Welcome back. And the guest right now is uh, one of the best fighters in the world. Uh, he won the WBA Light Heavyweight Championship uh, last year on the Mayweather McGregor undercard. But he's going to be fighting for the WBC, the Light Heavyweight Championship, and of course, the lineal title uh, on May 19th, Saturday, May 19th, in Toronto against Don Stevenson. Of course, that's none other than Badu Jack. How are you, Badu? I'm great. Thank you. How are you doing? I am doing awesome. I appreciate you uh, coming on. I was kind of surprised. I was mentioning to you before we started recording that uh, I happened to check out your Instagram and I saw you were in uh, Los Angeles breaking up training camp. But I know for a world championship fighter like you are, that doesn't happen too easily. Uh, why were you down in LA last week? What was going on? Uh, we actually, I was actually running up in the mountains here in Vegas. Um, five miles in the morning and then we took a flight to LA so I didn't really uh you know lose any training or anything but uh yeah we we went to the LA Galaxy game um uh, my PR team set up uh, a meeting with uh you know Slatan Ibrahimovic he's he's a legend for my country like the the biggest the best uh, athlete uh, of all times from Sweden Wow. Yeah, I, 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 you know, I'm not a soccer fan, so I, I'm a fight fan and a hockey fan, so I don't know too much about soccer, but I looked him up. He has like 32 million uh, Instagram followers. Where have I been? This guy. Yeah, I mean, he's really, he's really big all over the world, and now he's getting, uh, you know, kind of big here too, but, you know, soccer is the biggest sport in, in the world. You know, of course it is. Huge. Yeah. I wonder when two high-level athletes from different sports get together, is it just, you know, shaking hands, how you doing, good luck in your show? Or can you guys exchange things like, can you get any his preparation, his mentality, the way he goes about business that could help you in a completely different sport? Yeah, I mean, we both come from Sweden, but we, we, we both got the roots in different countries, you know. So, so I think he sees a lot of similarities in me, you know. Um, and you know he he he's a, a boxing fan as well. He he was uh, I think in the locker room with Anthony Joshua's last fight, and yeah he gave me a lot of good advice. You know, um, you know he, he he's a he's a good inspiration. I mean he's only what is he two years older than me. Right. But, um, he he's been at, been at the top for twenty years now. Well, you will be at the top uh, on uh, May nineteenth if you beat Adonis Stevenson, and I I think that's a fight. Uh, Quite frankly, I'm surprised Adonis took that fight. Uh, you know, yeah. it's hard to get him in the ring against the really top-level guys. The fight we wanted to see for so long was him and Kovalev, uh, and we can never yeah. never get that one done. Uh, well, let's talk about it first of all. I mean, I guess the key in that is you have to stay away from his power and, and not let him put his hands on you because he's, he's a pretty big hitter. Would you agree? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, he's a big puncher. You know, boxing is all about taking risks, and, you know, I'm about taking risks. You give me the best and biggest fight. Also, you got to pay me well. But, you know, um, I'm looking forward to fighting him. I've been asking for this fight before I even moved up to light heavyweight. Right after, actually, right after I, I fought James DeGale, I said, that's the next guy I want. I didn't get him at the time. He was, he wanted to fight, Adon, uh, what's the name, Von Farah again. You know, and then uh, cleverly called him. He had a title, so now, now we're here, though. Only a week and a half left. You know that um, I look at Adonis, and I think maybe his peak was a while back when he fought uh, Tony Bellew. You know, uh, yeah. Bellew's going on to do a lot of really good things in the heavyweights, uh, and uh, it has, you know he surprised me at least the first time when he beat David Hay. I guess not so much the second time. But I mean, you know, in retrospect, that's a really good win for Adonis beating a guy like that. But you know, he hasn't done much since, at least in my opinion. Uh, you know, he hasn't fought the, the, the top tier fighters that you have. Do you think that that will yeah. be a problem? for him coming into the fight given that he hasn't been in there with a guy at the at the very high end uh, for a while now okay yeah, it, it, it could happen you know it could be that you know he hasn't fought the best like I, I have fought the best in my weight class recently I fought the better competition you right. know but Tony Belly Ch Chad Dawson and those guys he fought that was five years ago you know but um, no I don't, I don't look at it like that though I, I, I respect him and, and you know he's a dangerous guy and uh, I prepare for the best at Don Stevens. He is uh, at his best, I think, when he's throwing combinations. And, and, you know, he's not a mover, but, I mean, you know, using his footwork and kind of creating angles, I think. And it seems that yeah. in a lot of his fights, you know, he's kind of flat-footed and just winging those uh, right hands. What impact does that have in the fight from your standpoint and how you approach it? No, I think he's a, he's a pretty good fighter. He 
you got a good stand, good range, pretty quick. I think he's not just a puncher. So, you know, I'm – I think he's a, one of the best fighters in, in in the world right now, and he obviously have one of the best punch in the, punches in the world. So, I just uh, I think he's a good fighter. Just because people don't like him, you know, he, he's uh, you know been ducking a lot of people and stuff. You know, they they forgot they they mix that up in personal you know emotions about him, but they forget that he's a pretty good fighter as well. I I, I like him as a fighter. I I agree with what you just said, though. You know, I I guess if I was to you know say. My criticism of him, he doesn't fight the guys we want to see him fight, uh, which, yeah. which you have you have done. Uh, is that a, is that the thing that when you went to Mayweather Promotions, uh, Leonard Ellerby said, hey, if we sign you, this is what you're going to have to do? Or was that what you told him you wanted to do? No, that's what I told them I wanted. All the big fights, I told them. I said, I want the big fight. I want, I want the fight. I, I, you know, I, I'm not looking past him or nobody else. But, you know, I, I, want, I want to continue to fight the best after this. That's the way you make money in the sport. Uh, when you talk yeah. to some of your peers who don't do it, you know, I, I interviewed uh, Vasily Lomachenko the other day, and you know, he mm-hmm. talked about that too. You know, hey, I haven't always fought the best because the best wouldn't fight me, but I fought the best that were available at the time, and he yeah. was frustrated. He was frustrated by that. When you talk to some of your peers, you know, how do they balance this whole thing of, hey, you want to make the most money, and you know, because that's what this is all about. You're not getting hit in the head to uh, have people cheer you on. You're getting hit in the head to get zeros behind that one on the paycheck. Um, how do you balance it between taking on the best and also, you know, kind of having longevity in the sport? You can't fight so many high-level fights, uh, you know, or else you, you short your career. I mean, uh, yeah, it's a business, first of all, but... Uh, Number one, you got to take care of your health, number one. But also, it's just entertainment, too. So you got to, you know, mix them together, you know. But I, I, I'm a competitor. I want to I wanna fight the best. If you say I can't beat you, no, I want I want to train harder, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to beat you. Like my last my last couple of fights, uh, you know, I've been the underdog. My, um, I don't know. My last five fights, maybe. Maybe the Cleverly fight, I think I was a slight favorite. But I love that. They, Why? they don't think I could be they all everybody write me off. I love that. So you're gonna go into the ring, it's gonna be what, ten uh ten month, nine, ten month layoff since you last fought against Nathan Kennedy. Yeah. Uh, I, I would think you'd want to be more active than that. Why haven't you been in the ring subsequent? I've been waiting for Stevenson. I mean they they they, they I said I want that fight in December. I I even uh, tweeted him like uh you when are you ready? You know. Are you ready for December? He said, like, Yeah, I'm ready. You know, it's not just his fault. You know, it's, it's TV, his network, it, you know, promotional stuff. You know, uh, so, I mean, the fight is here right now. I've been in training ever since my last fight, so I, I'm, I'm ready. What, so, uh, what do you weigh uh, a few days before the fight? What are you now, and uh, and is it going to be a tough weight cut for you? No, nah, it's not going to be a tough uh, weight cut. I've been training hard, but, you know, it's never easy. It is a secret. I, I, how much, I, I, you, how I, I, much do you have to cut when you start camp? How much do you have to cut to get to that 75? Or is that confidential information? That's confidential. You're a <laughs> big, <laughs> he's a big dude going into training camp, no, no doubt about it. Um, if you win the linear title, I mean, that to me, isn't that bigger than the sanctioning body belt? I mean, you're, you're the man who beat the man who beat the man. I mean, that yeah. you know, in boxing is what it's all about. Is that how you look at it? Yeah. But I also look myself at the underdog as well. So, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm want to, conti- I want to unify the title, but I'm definitely, definitely not overlooking uh, Adonis Stevenson. And one, one fight at a time, and then, then we see. There has been a, a, a fighter, uh, it's a generation before you, uh, Glenn Johnson, who was known as the Road Warrior. And I think yeah. that's kind of what you're becoming. You know, you're fighting all over the place. Uh, you know, you could easily you know, just uh, book yourself in Vegas and, you know, that nobody would uh, complain about that if that's what you did, but you're going all over the place to fight. You're going to fight him in Canada. Uh, he's yeah. in Montreal. You're fighting him in Toronto. Do you think that's an advantage to him? And why were you willing to go to his place? Why not a neutral territory to fight? I mean, right now he's the champion. So, you know, and I don't think he can leave the country, to be honest. That's what I heard. Okay. So, you know, uh, I'm happy to go. It's just me and him in the ring anyway. Nobody can fight for me or nobody can fight for him. It's just me and him, so I don't care where we fight. So do you think there's uh, – is it overrated or is there no such thing as home home ring advantage? You know, you having the home crowd on your side doesn't really make a difference? Uh, to be honest, when I was up in Toronto for, for the uh, press conference, 
nobody, they said, everybody hitting me up, please beat him. We don't like him <laughs> here in Canada, you know. No. So I don't know. Maybe I'll have more fans than him. Maybe not. We'll, we'll see. There we go. Well, let, let, before we wrap it up, uh, tell me what kind of fight you expect from him. You know, we, we talked about his power. We know uh, you're a good all-around boxer. Uh, what, what kind of fight can we expect? I mean, I'm going to adjust to the situation. Whatever happens, happens. If, if we fight on the inside, we do that. If we fight on the outside, we can do that. Any, anything I would be ready for, you know. He's uh, he, I know this is probably one of the toughest opponent of my career. And, um, you know, I asked for this fight. So, so you know, I'm just excited. I'm looking forward to it. Well, Badu Jack was in one of the best fights of 2017 when he uh, fought uh, James DeGale. Uh, I got to think that uh, the fight with Adonis Stevenson is going to shape up to be one of the best fights of 2018. We wish you luck, right. Badu. Thank you so much for being with me. All right. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right. All the best to you, man.